is Joshua Salim. I'm the Peace Education Program Director in, with AFSC St. Louis. And um, first, I want to just express my condolences to the McConnell family and um, want you to know that you um, each day are being held in the, in the light. So um, I've been in this position. I've been with AFSC for, for just over a year. I came on right before the, central, the former Central Region and the Great Lakes Region. Um, merged into to become the Midwest and, and so I didn't know Michael for for all that long but um, I recall our initial conversation um, this past past June June 2012 and I remember coming away from from that you know hour-long conversation with with feeling empowered and with the sense that I could I could go out and change the world and um, I left feeling that my the, the work that I was doing, that I had planned to do, that I am doing now, um, was valued and important. That I was valued and important. And um, I'm sure he, he left many, um, many not just staff people, but anyone he inter interacted with feeling the same way. Um, over this past year, Michael has shown me what it, what it means to really be a leader who listens and um, how important that is. So um, I never got the, the, the chance to, to speak to him one last time, um, but I just want to say thank you, Michael, for, for your support over this past year, for, um, for sharing your light with me and with, with everyone who you came into contact with. Um, and even though you're, even though you're not physically here with us, know that the the work, um, the work continues, because uh, you know there's a lot of work to be done, and um, you know your spirit, your light continues on in each person that you you inspired and encouraged, um, counseled, supported, um, which I think is everyone who you ever came into contact with. Um, so, you know, thank you. thank you. I just want to um, leave my testimony to everyone who can uh, see this, that uh, in my last conversation with Michael, which was on March 27, it, we had a moment in which we were able to talk about our health challenges. And um, it was very cathartic, very soothing to uh, our souls. So to me, that was a gift, a gift to my soul, to my heart, that will never leave me. Um, I appreciated Michael's uh, ability to see the world in a different way to envision a better world and for that I will be always thankful that he provided such leadership and shared those visions of a better world. And to you Maricela and, and your children, uh, I send you my love. I hope that you uh, will find strength in the legacy that uh, Michael has left us. Um, I truly believe that our spirit never dies. So I, I feel him. I feel him around. I feel him uh, here with us. Uh, I know that um, he will continue uh, being present in our hearts and our minds and our souls. And uh, I hope that uh, this message will give you strength to overcome the, the sadness of not having his physical presence and not being able to give him a hug and, and to feel him close. But uh, he's here. So uh, send you love and you are in my prayers and uh, uh, that's that's all. I send you a lot of love. This message is for Michael. 
Um, you know, Michael was really incredibly a, an amazing and special human being. And I think that if he could hear this, he would, I think he would not appreciate, I guess, this exaltation of him. And that's partly what made him so special is that, um, he never, he never carried himself or positioned himself in a way that made him more powerful or in a higher hierarchy, sense of hierarchy than others. Um, if you saw him in the office, you never would know that he was the director. That was my impression when I first met Michael in 2010. Um, I did not take him to be the director because he was such a um, humble human being. Um, but as I got to know him, um, I realized that he was humble, but at the same time he very much was responsible for the well-being and for the perpetuity of our of our office. And, um, you know, I think that at other organizations, if the director or the CEO passes away, I, I imagine that people do not, they, they feel grief or loss or remorse, but not like this. I mean, Michael was really, it really affects me personally, and um, I miss him terribly. And wherever you are now, you are loved and you will continue to be loved um, for a very long time by us in Chicago and in Philadelphia and all over the world. You've touched so many people in your life and we miss you. Well, I, I guess what I would want to share about Michael and I want those who love him to know is, you know, what a blessing he is in my life and in my work. Um, I feel like Almost all the important work I have done with AFSC has Michael's fingerprints on it. <laughs> and, uh, being part of the peace building work, I um, had a chance to work with Michael on Eyes Wide Open, uh, organize the Hope, Windows and Mirrors, and most recently as our regional director, he was really helping us move for forward on a um, Latino youth organizing project that's very exciting. And when I think about his passion around youth. I think back to all the young people I have worked with on these projects and I realize how wide has been Michael's um, reach. Um, and I, I just think for sure Michael's spirit will live on not only through AFSC but through all these lives who were impacted by his vision and his passion and that many of us are committed to continue. I personally will miss Michael as a colleague, as a supervisor, and as a friend. Hello, I'm Greg Coleridge, um, director of the Northeast Ohio AFSC, and um, just wanted to share to Michael's family, friends, anyone else who might see this DVD, my sincere, heartfelt condolences to you in your time of loss. You know, Michael was um, just an amazing, amazing person. You don't need to hear that, of course. You have lived it your whole lives in his midst. But to us who have had the opportunity and pleasure of working with him, he was indeed uh, very, very special. Uh, I've been with AFSC for about 30 years, and Michael was uh, regional director of uh, well, what's now called uh, Midwest Region, was Great Lakes Region, for over 20. And uh, so I had the opportunity to have other regional directors that came before Michael, well, three or four of them. And like with any person, uh, they have their strengths and weaknesses, and in this kind of job, of course, you have to be just uh, uh, 
very good or expected to be very good in a variety of different skills and abilities in dealing with people, in dealing with program, in dealing with administration, and of course uh, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses as these other regional directors did, and nothing against any of them. But Michael was just so good in all of those uh, dimensions, and um, certainly from a personal level, um, for me he was very supportive to me in my time of need when my wife passed away back in 19 or in 2000. He came out, uh, spent uh, a couple days, was at the memorial service and you know was just very comforting and supportive as a fellow staff person but also just as a friend to say you know I'm here and take all the time you need to do what you needed to do to heal and recover. So it meant a lot for him to take uh, his time to come out to the hinterlands, because Ohio has always sort of seemed like the hinterlands uh, compared to Chicago and, and elsewhere. And he took the time to do that and has been just very supportive, as he has with, with other people. Um, on a more professional level, what, again, I'm sure the theme you have heard from others was very clear and... Um, many examples of which for us is his ability to to vision, to see ahead, and to imagine that which currently does not yet exist. And in doing it in a way that made connections. And a good example of that in the work that we have been involved in actually for quite some time has been in the area of campaign finance reform. You know, it's an area that AFSC is not really worked in, uh, worked on nationally. But Michael and some others got the idea um, way back, 15 years ago or so, when you know we tried to make the case that many of the social and economic and peace issues that we work on are all you know zero back to money and politics, and that we're not going to get very far on any of the issues we care about unless we sort of tackle that one. Um, he went out and uh, managed to convince um, and work with a foundation in Chicago called the Joyce Foundation and got from them a grant, fairly substantial, that helped us work along with, and here was also part of the visionary, not just in connecting these issues, traditional AFSC with campaign finance, but in connecting groups that heretofore had not really worked very close together. And this was a particular project to try to bring faith communities together. So here was AFSC that worked with the Catholics in our part of the world in Northeast Ohio to launch this multi-year project that um, did group meetings to bring people together to engage in a very personal level about what it meant to work on issues and how the presence of big money in politics prevented that from happening. So that, that vision of his, along with this person from Joyce Foundation, he helped facilitate that along and helped us come up with this project that ended up being quite, I think, successful in getting a citizen initiative passed here in the uh, city of Akron that resulted in very low contribution limits and was challenged and went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court and was upheld. And to this day, part of our work is part of a uh, result of that legacy which to me is just such a profound testimony to that visioning thing that uh, he was just so good at doing as he blended and integrated in still affirming uh, people uh, at every level and affirming us as staff and empowering us to do what we think was so important on behalf of our constituents. So. Again, only one small anecdote, um, one of many that make up this uh, very um, wide and broad tapestry of good that he did, and in doing good, he did it well. So uh, for that, again, all of my love and support to you, uh, Michael's family, in the days ahead as you uh, proceed without him, but uh, always possess his memories. Peace.